Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my very messy workbench. Um, I know a lot of you guys have, uh, are waiting for the uh, build of the Airblade Assault and it is coming. Um, I am waiting for uh, a camera to come and will fit this uh, very tiny frame. It's uh, actually been shipped finally and I'll be getting it soon so this build will be starting pretty soon. Uh, looks like right now the, the red color is winning over the blue at the moment. If um, you prefer blue, uh, go to the other video and I'll pop that up down in the link below and uh, vote for blue. Right now red is winning, so it looks like red's going to be the one that's going to get built. Anyway, um, put this aside. I'm going to talk about uh, a couple of motors I've been thinking of putting on, into the Airblade Assault. And I'm leaning towards uh, the 4000 kV version of the 1306 motors. So I've got the, uh, let's see if I can get that to focus on camera. Got this 1306 3100 kV motor and got this DYS, they're both DYS, the 1306 4000 kV motor. And so what I'm going to, what I'm going to be doing for this video is I'm going to be taking these motors along with this ESC. This is the 20 amp uh, little B. And I'm going to do some thrust testing with a watt meter uh, with this tri-blade. This is a Rotorex. Um, Let's see, what is this called? Yeah. This is a Rotorex RX3040T uh, tri-blade uh, three inch propeller. So these are all gonna be three inch propellers. Um, these uh, tests are really geared towards like the 120 to 150 size quadcopters, the micros. Uh, the second prop I'm gonna be looking at is the HQ uh, I'm not sure what it's called. HQ prop, three by three. Let's see what this says here. Yeah, it's a three by three prop. And the last one I'm going to be looking at is this Diatone three by four five propeller. And uh, just looking, let's see. Uh, let me show you what this. Uh, it's called the. Uh, Diatone Super Durable 3x4.5. This is a pretty, well, fairly new uh, propeller. It has, it has not, it hasn't, it's not widely available yet, but I believe that they're available on Bingo now. Um, but just looking at these two propellers here and this tri-blade, let's see if we can get this all in frame. Um, the blades are definitely meatier on the Diatone here, the 3x4.5. Three, three and this, this looks Looks like a bullnose propeller versus a, a more more normal propeller for the HQ. So anyway, um, we're gonna hook this up and do some thrust tests on these three propellers against these two motors. And I'm gonna be using a um, a 3S 850 milliamp hour battery. Okay, this is the 3100 kV motor with the HQ prop. Okay, this is the 3100 kV motor with the diatone prop. Okay, this is the 3100 kV motor with the Rotor X tri blade prop. Okay, here's the 4000 kV motor with the HQ prop. Okay, 
Here's the 4000 kV motor with the diatone prop. Here's the 4000 kV motor with the Rotorex triblade prop. Okay, so these tests were very interesting. Um, as I expected, the HQ prop uh, was the most efficient, but also produced the least amount of thrust and um, had the least amp draw. The diatone prop surprised me. I thought it would draw a lot of current because it is a bullnose prop, but it was not as uh, did not produce as much thrust as the Rotorex tri-blade prop, and this one actually surprised me quite a bit. It was really efficient um, and produced a lot more thrust than the diatone prop. Yes, it is a three-bladed prop, but the uh, size of these little the blades are significantly smaller than the one on, ones on the diatone. Now, uh, the amp draw is a lot more on the diatone, but I think that in terms of durability, this prop is a lot, a lot meatier and thicker than uh, these other props here. A lot more flex than this. I think that uh, if you tend to crash a lot, um, these these props are going to break probably a lot more easier than the diatone. So um, that's the conclusion of this t uh, series of tests for these two motors. If uh, you guys want to see any more tests uh, for different props, or some different motors, let me know. Leave some comments in the uh, section below the video and uh, I'll take a look at those and hopefully we can do some more tests with maybe perhaps with other ESDs or other motors or other props. So I'll talk to you guys next time. Take care.